Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and Lee and Renna. Now, as you can see, Lee's down about 300 pounds, but he definitely had one of the more volatile episodes. I mean, he turned into the Shin Assassin at one point, started talking about how he'd lost enough weight that he could officially do the Stinky Twinkie. And then he bought roses at the end as if that made everything better. But he was a whole bag of suck, and I just want to see if he continued to suck. And then you guys told me there's a where are they now. So uh, let's see how exactly Lee's going, if he's still going, if she's still around, what's going on here? Right now I'm headed to do another painting class while Renee goes to her next therapy session. She's going back. He's a painter all of a sudden? Also, someone said that he looked like a lady in the other or in the comments on the last one. And now I can't stop seeing my great-grandmother when I look at him. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be tough for me. I to see Lola once a month. But those sessions are really hard on me. So I'm not sure how often I feel like I'm going to be able to go back with her. But today I'm going to go paint, which is kind of therapy for me too. And I think I want to keep pursuing painting as one of my new activities because it's... I thought he was talking about painting the sheets in the last one. I guess he meant legit painting. Okay, I gotcha. Something I've always wanted to do. I've always had interest in art and music. Art and music's one of my first love. I like to draw. I like to make pictures. I like to sing, too. I, I just have many interests. Okay, so from here on, I am officially going to call him ZZ Top Ramen. I want to learn how to work with pottery. I want to learn how to do different crafts. I want to learn how to do something that will make me a living. All right, nice to see you. I hope to meet again, sir. Are you guys buying any paintings from the 600-pound Shin Assassin? Or are you... No, I don't think he has a market, right? Steven Asante probably could get away with it, but not this guy. So who knows where this will lead? But it's just one of many new activities I'm trying to do on my own now. Lola told me and Renee we need to start doing some things on our own. And I completely agree with her because I want to do things without Renee sometimes. I That's probably good, considering they were stuck in the bed together for all those years she was caring for him. I imagine getting apart from each other is probably for the best because they've spent way too much time together at this point. I like doing things with Renee, but sometimes you got to be your own person and have your own experiences in life. And I think that's True. a lot of mine and her trouble because we're with each other 24-7 all the time. You guys think he's the one that drew the food on the wall? I'm going to guess he drew the food on the wall. And I'm always too focused on making Renee happy. Well, I need to focus on making me happy sometimes. Since when? That's what I'm doing today. I'm going out to make me happy. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab your paint. Today, we will be painting the Eiffel Tower. So right now, just think about if it's a sunny day, a rainy day. Uh... You think they picked the Eiffel Tower as a joke? Because every time I think of the Eiffel Tower, I think of French toast. I know that has nothing to do with the Eiffel Tower. But it seems like a joke. Of course, your color. We're a couple, but yet yeah, we need our own space. So that's why I'm glad I'm going out and doing these things for myself. I need myself time. I need my me time. And I know I still have a lot of work to do on me to get better. Especially with my anger issues. Because I don't want to ever risk losing Renee again. She means everything to me. And I don't know what I'd do without her. So I... Probably spent a lot of time laying in the bed and not getting any food because she was doing everything for him. And then he turned into this whole anger demon or whatever and started coming after her. It just doesn't make sense to me at all why he would take that route. But some people have their demons and I guess that's his. I plan to keep working to be a better man for her and for myself. So I'm sticking to my diet and being active so I can stay on track with my weight loss. And I'm going to find better ways to work through my anger and emotion so I can keep moving forward toward being the person I want to be and that Renee deserves. Do you think of a title for your painting? I think I'm going to call it 
a new beginning. New beginning, all right. Sweet Jesus, he's drawing pizzas in Paris. I told you guys he was the one that drew the food. How the hell did I figure that out so easy? Also, that's the Eiffel Tower. It looks like something very different to me, but to each their own, I guess. But the pizza is on legs. Is that supposed to be a tree? I don't know, man. It kind of looks like the rooster humping a spider web on his belly button that Charlotte's Web did not consent to. Okay. And what's been going on with you and Lee? Um, we're doing better. Um, he's been a lot more supportive. We still argue, which, you know, every couple does, but mm -hmm. his anger problems have gotten a lot better. That's Everybody argues. There's never an excuse when it goes to physical, and I think he's going to have to live with that label for the rest of his life because he did that, but not only did he do that, he did it in front of the whole damn world in a television crew. So, Lee, you're going to get the Chris Brown treatment moving forward, and people are just going to remember you for what you did right that second. It's good to hear, but an issue in the past was you felt that you were being manipulated at times by Lee. So it's going to be really important now that you be attentive and that if you think seeds of manipulation are being planted, that you assert yourself and respectfully confront him and have a discussion. Now, what's been the most difficult part of this entire process for you? Being away from home. Being That's the reason I think most people don't want to go on the show, because they have to move to Houston. Not only that, she had to move there with a 700-pound baby, who friggin', once they get there, starts a lashing out at her. Being away from home. Tell me where the emotion is coming from. We've just been here so long, I'm ready to go back home but i know you know we can't and i know there yeah i'm here for a goal it's just hard have you learned that you're stronger than you may have thought you were definitely that's the one thing i think everyone on the show needs to realize or everyone in life in general people struggle with realizing that they have a different level of strength inside of them because they'll just let things get to them over and over but tough times don't last, tough people do. You're way stronger than you realize. And I know there's still, you know, a long road ahead, but what we've done to get here is worth where we're at. I think that's a really great mantra that I hope you write down and post where you can see it every single day. Right on the wall, stay away from the Reese's Cup Railroad. I gotcha, Doc, I gotcha. We've come so far. What we've done to get here is worth it. I'm proud of you. Very thank proud. You. Okay. Renee, thank you so much thank for being you. here today. It was really good seeing you again, and I just know. Wow, she looks a whole hell of a lot different than she did at the start. But I guess she's coming up on like half of her body weight down, so hats off to her. She's doing great. You're going to continue to be successful. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. I'll see you out. I feel that the session went good. I feel like she helped me understand things. Like now that I've talked to the therapist, I recognize that I am strong. I'm ready to let. I wonder if there's ever been a guy who like wanted to go on the show and act just like stupid crazy because he wanted to go in there with the hot therapist or whatever. It's had to have happened before. Like, you can put me in therapy, Doc. Just make sure it's Lola. Go of all the negative and stay as focused as I can to keep making progress. And if Lee starts to fall back into old habits, or if he does lose his temper at me or hit me again, then I'm gone. I'm so proud of how well I'm doing. Then I'm going to reach my goals no matter what. I'm proud of you, too, because a lot of people scared to walk away. I don't think Lee's going to chase you down or anything, or by any means. I'm pretty confident in your ability to get away from him. But still, that just the fact that he even did that, I'm still kind of, like, ticked off about it. It's insane to think you would do that to the person that was taking care of you. Now that we have both had the surgery and we're both on kind of the same track now, it's just an awesome feeling. And I know we've been working hard lately, and I'm hoping we both hit our goals. 
Does he have a thing of salt water taffy in his hand? Because I don't think Dr. Now is going to be too happy about that. Lee and Renee? Dr. Now had discussed when we first started that once I get to about 250, then he would start working on skin removal surgeries for... She smiled. She's always so angry, that lady there. I don't know why. I like, you should be a little nicer, I guess, but not overly nice, like the lady that just got fired from my one doctor I go to because she kept asking guys to go and have drinks with her, myself included. And then when I asked her about her husband, she said, well, he don't know, won't hurt him. Her ass got the axe for that one. For me, so that's the number I'm hoping to see right now. It's been a month since our last appointment, and Renee was down to 278 then. Doctor now said she should be losing at least 15 pounds a month, and if she did, that would put her at 263. But I know she wants to make it below 250. Damn, she got close. So she's really hardcore on her diet, and I'm curious if Lee's doing good still. Because, I don't know, I can't gauge his weight loss anymore. I can't gauge weight loss that well anyways. All right. Praise God. Awesome. I'm really proud of Renee. Me too. I'm just hoping I was able to stay on track like I needed. At my last appointment, I was down to 4'11". And doctor now said I should be losing at least 25 pounds a month right now. And I had to get below 350 for skin removal. So that's what I'm hoping for. Wow, awesome. Oh, Betty Crocker, that ain't that awesome. Like, you're still doing pretty okay, but he's still a little more fresh from the surgery and still too big to only be losing 14, I'd say. Good job. That's not as much as I was hoping for. Yep. It's not even my goal, but I'm still excited about being under 400. That's been a major... True. Big accomplishment. ZZ Top Ramen strikes again. A goal of mine since I started. So I may not be getting approved for skin removal today. But I still feel good I hit a milestone. Come in. Hello. How y'all doing? Good. How are you doing? All right. Everybody doing okay? Yep. yep. There's that sexy man. We love Dr. Now over here. He's just the best. All right, so, Renee, let's start with you. Okay. You made some good progress this past month with a 24-pound weight loss. So you're doing great, and I'm proud of you. You're not quite below 250, but since you're only four pounds away, I'm willing to approve you for your first skin removal. Damn, I ain't even had skin removal yet. I'm like right below where they told me to go to, but Dr. Now approves people way earlier for that. I guess he just does it in kind of like waves, but I don't know. I'll show you guys when I get mine if you want to see it. And we will do that in a month to give you a little bit more time to lose some more weight. You think you can do that? Yep. Great. But if you show up and you haven't, then we won't move ahead with your surgery. So stay on track and keep working hard. And don't get too comfortable and start to sleep, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. Let's see how's Lee doing. So you lost some... This guy has the most, like, weird look on his face all the day. It's like permanent butt plug face. Like something's just stuck in his butt 24-7. Wait, but not like what you should have. You only had a 14-pound loss, which is 10 pounds short of your monthly goal. So you're starting to sleep. Oh, I know. But it's still a big milestone to get under 400. That milestone is going to be short-lived. Unless you turn this around now and start doing what you need. You got it? I mean, Doctor Now knows. He's seen people that are successful at first and then just think they can kind of rest on their success and they start going back in the other direction. I've seen it a bunch of times in people that have had the surgery. They just work back the other way eventually. Yeah. I'm trying though, and I'm 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 learning my stomach. I'm learning my system. Come on, that's just a cliche. All you need to learn is a diet that gave you. So no excuses. Or are you gonna start getting again soon? Is that what you want? No, it's not at all. Then start doing what you need, and that includes going to therapy. Because I hear. I think the fact that she lost more than him kind of speaks volumes in this situation. Like she's killing it. Don't get me wrong. 
but there is no way in hell she should be losing more weight than him, and he should be sitting here going, well, at least I did this. That's that's cope, man. You're trying to cope with the fact that you know you're not doing that well and you need to do better. You're not going to all your appointments with Lola. So right now, you're starting to slowly point back in the wrong direction. And you can either fix that now, or that trend will continue until you end up back over 700 pounds soon. That makes sense to you? Yeah. I hope so, because you can't afford to start gaining again for yourself or for Renee because you will start to influence her negatively again. Got it? I get what the doc's trying to say, but I don't think you could influence Renee negatively. I think she's just so happy and so over the moon with her success and just feeling that much better about her life that she's not going to work back in the other direction. I've seen that a lot too. People that tend to be very high on themselves or think very highly of themselves for reaching like very minimal levels of success, kind of like Lee is, tend to work in the other direction. Got it? Good. And Lee, if you get back on track, we'll move ahead with your skin removal. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need it because, I mean, it's, it's bad everywhere. I know. And I know that. But there is still a lot of fat with that skin. So. That's not that bad. I mean, yeah, I got it too. Oh, look at that muscle. I'm getting up there. I'm working on it. Not until you lose the adequate amount of weight, which is at least 25 pounds in the next month. Okay? I'm going to lose 30. All right, we're not going to gonna stop you if you do that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you two in a month. But if either of you need anything before then, give me a call, okay? Thank you. All right. I think Dr. Now will do a backflip if Lee loses 30 because... That's a lot of weight right there, considering that he's this far on in the surgery. It's very doable still, but it would be a lot for him to still lose 30. Last week, I got a call from my sister with some news that sent me reeling because she told me my dad was diagnosed with cancer. Aww. So I have to go back to Missouri to be with him, which means we need to put everything down here in Houston on hold. Renee already... That's sad, but also those bed sheets had some nasty looking stains on them. I'm gonna chalk that up to Lee. When you clip back to it, just take a look. Already called Doctor now and told him because we're gonna need some more time because of this. Ew, look at that right there. That right there. Ugh, who's painting the wall over here? There's booty grease all over the wall, right underneath the BDSM monkeys. Good God and that she can't get skin removal right now because we'll be in Missouri for at least a few weeks so I can be with my dad and my family. I feel bad that she has to put her surgery on hold, but Renee says she fully understands. She's actually looking forward to being back up there. It'll be- I'm sure she is, but just another way that you've negatively affected her or effed up her surgery, so you- I mean, his dad has cancer, though, so I'm sure she wants to be supportive during this time. But you're still holding her back in all these different ways, and I just, I can't understand that. You think you'd want her to be successful since you are a couple. A bit of a reunion, and we're both looking forward to showing everyone how far we've come. I got the suitcases packed, got our clothes. <sighs> what are people going to think when they see us? Hopefully they see the difference and the changes and are excited and happy for us I kind of a good feeling when people see you and they're like kind of like damn I, I didn't expect to see that out of you or when you run into like an old friend at the store or something and they don't recognize you that's a pretty good feeling too even if not i'm excited and happy for us we've came a long way and we have a reason to be proud I am a little disappointed because I'm not going to be able to get my skin surgery now. But once we get back to Texas, I'll be able to get my surgery. Our friend Dave. ZZ Top Ramen's mobile again, and he's got the suitcase this time. At least he's trying to help. Are they taking puppers with them too? Because that poor dog, he's going to have a long ride in that fart coffin with them. David has been helping us pack everything up. And once we're done, he's going to drive us back to Missouri. Dr. Now says we both need to stay on track, and we will. Neither one of us are going to let our progress slow down during this time. Because once I take care of what I need, we're going to come back down here to pick back up where we left off. 
Yeah, but the typical excuses like I'm on the road, so I need to eat this, this, or this because there's no healthy options or this or that. I wonder if they're going to take that route at all because that seems like something Lee would do 100%. Back in Missouri. Bye, baby. I love you. Me and Renee are back home in Missouri. Puppers. We got to my sister's house this morning after two days on the road. And we're really glad to finally be back here where all our friends and family are. They plan. Damn, look that wide chair that's got like the indents from being so big you barely fit in it. Like the arms are leaning. He actually fits it now. So good for you, Lee. You're actually making some good progress here. And a big reunion for us where we're going to go see everyone. So me and Renee are really excited about that. And we're feeling really good. Hunter Buck says Lee ate all the candy canes off that tree. Oh, shit. I shouldn't. I, I j he's doing good, okay? I'm just being a jerk. The trip to Missouri seemed slow and long, but I think that was just because I was so anxious to get here because I haven't seen most of my family for like a year or two. And I'm so excited to be able to see them at this get together. And I'm so excited and inquisitive about what their reactions are going to be. That I Ooh, look at you go. You look like a totally different person now that you actually are trying to take care of yourself and that much happier with yourself. But getting down on yourself and taking care of yourself, those kind of go hand in hand when you get that big. I've actually got butterflies. All right, let's do this. Those are crabs from Lee. Oh, wow. You look amazing. Thank you. I hope somebody takes some pictures. All right, I'm ready. Let's go see everybody. I mostly... Bro, that rat tail is driving me nuts. My uncle has like a ponytail type thing like that. I always think it just looks so like crazy stupid. I just want to see my father, be with him, and see how he's doing. He's my main concern right now, and the reason we're up here. And I'm ready to do what I need to do to be there for him, and help out for however long he needs. We might want to put a little bit of air in that back tire. That thing is getting a little half-ton deflated, riding up and down the highway. He needs me. I'm so excited to see everybody. Hi. I know. I'm, I've got butterflies for some reason. I can, this is like really freaking... I don't usually get nervous about family and this kind of stuff. This is going to be great. I love when like your family sees you. I didn't. I spent a whole decade not seeing my dad's side of the family. Mostly because I was just embarrassed about the state I had got to. And then when I finally saw them, they were they were pretty nice, but they were always pretty nice. I just didn't want to go around them because I didn't want them to see me in the state I was. But they've seen these people at their worst, so they're obviously going to be happy. They've lost weight. Just walk through the here. It doesn't matter. There's nothing here. Slow oh, ride. No Take knows. it easy. Oh, gosh. Locked, ain't it? Right here. You don't need the double doors anymore, buddy. You just need one. He thought he needed both of them still. Thank you. Look at David lurking in the background, just like, oh God, why am I even here? Awesome oh. meeting you guys. Yeah. A lot of hard work. <laughs> you look good, Lee. Thank you. When I saw Lee come to the door, wow. He was neat. He lost darn near one of me. It's wonderful to see. I like his dad already. I feel so bad whenever I hear someone's like sick like that. It just breaks my heart because obviously cancer's awful it's a terrible thing and it, it's terrible for any family to go through that with anyone hey. you look so beautiful thank you i've known renee since i was born. i refuse to believe that this is the same gene pool right here this is somebody's adopted kid because lee and her did not come from the same friggin no 
No, that's not the same gene pool. When she comes through the doors, just like a totally different person. She's so much smaller than what she used to be. Thank you. I feel a lot better. I can sit over here with me. It feels really good seeing everyone and getting their reactions. Riley. Especially my dad. That meant the most. Me and Renee have come so far, and the support of our family has been a big part of that. We could. I'm sure they have to be patting themselves on the back a little bit. Some part of that has to feel really good to see the people like, wow, you've done so well, congratulations. It's a big boost of encouragement right there just to keep you going on the right path. Couldn't have done this without them. So now that we're back here for a while, I want to try and pay them back for that support and be there for them like they've been for me. Damn, Lee's trying to arm wrestle men now instead of just wrestling women. Tonight has been awesome. Everyone did see our accomplishments and did Not the see same gene pool. how hard we worked to get here. I don't even know how to describe how I feel when somebody's hugging me and holding me. I know I... I would describe it as shock when you realize that people can reach around you all of a sudden because originally... There's no way they're getting both hands around there, but shock would be a good one. Happy, I don't know, something like that. I always have support, and even when we're at home in Texas, we always have each other, but just to feel that from somewhere else and to feel that love is so much more. I think in a way it's made us get closer. You know, literally closer. <laughs> good one, Lee, but, uh... If the flowers didn't bring you closer, I don't know what will, buddy. Because you have been a big bag of suck in the first one. So far, it hadn't been that bad in this one. <laughs> oh, no. So the dad fell His ill waiting to leave. He has a fever. He's sweating. He's staying like way from all night. I'm busy. Who are we here for? My father. Okay. That poor dad, man. He looks all dazed and out of it. Like, my grandfather had cancer, and he passed away before he ever got to see me make any kind of success, really, because I was still at the very start of my journey. And that kind of makes me sad all the time when I think about it, that he didn't get to see me do better. Hold on. He's just, we try to get him up and he's weak and in pain. Yeah, really bad. He's so weak he can't stand up. Yeah. Like dizziness right now? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to stand up from the tango and you're just going to turn and sleep. His legs are so weak he can't. All right, turn towards my partner here. We got your partner. Oh. Keep turning. Straight back. Perfect. Thank you. you help with your legs? Oh. I'm praying my dad is okay, but this is why I have to be up here. Thank so I take it that you're not going back to Houston at all, which would de derail Renee's skin removal and all this and that. I understand wanting to be there, but it looks like you have a large family and you've still got a lot of work to do. So I don't think you yourself necessarily need to be there. Someone else could step in, obviously care for your dad that's more physically prepared to care for him and be there for him. You can care of him. We're gonna feel better. No matter what, he has to be my focus right now. So I'm going to be here for him as long as it takes for me to help him get past this and beat this. Seems like a deflection to me. Like I have to be here for this so I can't go back. Maybe he just doesn't want to be there in the first place but I think he's probably just looking for a reason to not be in Houston anymore at this point. Oh, shit. We gained 80 pounds. The second we were out of Houston, buddy, it was back on the buffet bout. I'm like, God, man. I understand things get stressful and all this and that, but you still gotta work towards bettering yourself, man, if you wanted to actually care for your dad. It's been around two and a half months since Renee left me, and since then, she's only taken my call once. And it... 
damn. We got dumped, got back almost into the friggin' 500s, and our boobs are steering the car. That's a whole lot of bad going on at once. It didn't last long. So she's really upset at me still. So life and everything is still really hard right now. But I realize if I'm gonna have any chance at having Renee back, then I have to stay committed to making the progress I need to get healthy. So I called Dr. Now so I can start moving forward again. But he told me before he's willing to discuss anything, he wants to see where my weight's at. Damn right Dr. Now wants to see those digits. He ain't gonna let you just jump right back in after jumping ship and running all the way to Missouri to get out of here. So he set up a weigh-in at a clinic here near my home to do that. So I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure what the scale's gonna say. Lee, yeah. come on back. And he finally got a new haircut. New haircut, new me. Okay, I see you. A lot bigger than you were when I saw you before, but I see you. My last weigh-in was around five months ago, and I was 397 then. And the last goal I had from Dr. Now was to keep losing 25 pounds a month. So that means I should be down to 272. 477. Oh, fudge sickles. Damn. We really just said F a diet. We can't be bothered right now, huh, Lee? Lost your girl? Lost your diet? Lost your doctor? God, you're really going in the wrong direction here, buddy. Time to get back on track. Okay, we're going to step down. Okay. I'll let you rest a second, and then we'll go in this room. All right. Thank you. Well, that's not good. Duh. So that means I'm not looking forward to doing this call with Dr. Now. I also have a rule where I never just wear one solid color as a big person because it just makes you look like a giant blob of one color. So I just, I can't do it personally. I gotta at least be two-toned. Because I doubt he's going to say anything positive or understand what I've been going through. Have a seat in that chair. I bet he'll say that scale went back in the positive direction, though. Well, I'm going to give my doctor a call and see what he has to say. Thank okay. you for everything. You're welcome. Plus, not minus. Lee, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. So what's going on with you? How was your weight today? Uh, not real great. I haven't lost what I should have. What is your weight? Yeah, I haven't lost a damn thing. Don't think the fat lie detector don't work just because you're on video call at this point. Right now. Uh, 475. Wow, you gained just about 80 pounds from your last appointment. But if you stayed on track, you would have lost 125 pounds in that time. So you're over 200 pounds in the wrong direction. You get... Damn, when you put it that way, it sounds a lot more effed up than gaining 80 pounds. But we can't. Can we hold the like should have lost against him? I don't want to. I don't want to dogpile the guy. Then again, I kind of do want to dogpile the guy because he kicked her in the shin earlier. So maybe, yeah, we'll just say gain two hundred at this point. That's right. Yeah, probably. So what happened? What's going on with the eating habit? Oreos, Twinkies. I don't. I can sit here and give you excuses, but there, there's no point. I just, you know, under a lot of stress, and it's hard to, you know. I eat the wrong things, I will admit to that. Dealing with my father with cancer, dying, and Renee leaving me. So sometimes it's easier just to go eat out than cook. I know it's not. You think Renee just didn't want that your, your bad decisions to influence her in any way, so she had to get up out of there before you had another rodeo burger at Roy Rogers? Or, you, oh, man, he probably was, nah, Roy Rogers is kind of expensive. He's probably one of the $5 Taco Bell box guys. Excuses, you're getting ready to tell me that, but um, I don't know what to tell you. I, I mean, as far as excuses, but I do eat too much. Uh, you, you don't need to tell me anything. You need to to work with yourself. I know that. I know this. It's just hard for me anymore. I mean, you know. You've been very ambiguous about the situation. You're just saying you want me to accept that. Okay, it's hard for you and all that, and you don't want to go into detail and tell me what exactly eating, then how many times eating in a day. 
bad things are going to happen to you over and over in life. It doesn't get easier. You can't just... Nobody's going to like give you the easy or the cheat code to life, especially not when you get up to 700 pounds. You're going to have to put in some work if you want to get back in the right direction. So you can't just sit here and say, well, this happened, so I did this. This happened, so I did that. You're going to have to fight for yourself at some point, my guy. Usually about twice. I'm going to do that. Uh... Sometimes, but not really, not very often. What do you snack on? Uh, I eat fruit, but I know I'm not supposed to. So oh, shut the f A banana did not do that. Maybe some banana bread. Maybe we ate a couple of loaves of that. Not some strawberry, but maybe some strawberry soft serve. But I highly doubt that this is fruit weight coming back on here. So you're not following the diet and you're not able to control your eating habits. Is that what you're telling me? It's hard, it's hard to control a habit. Well, we also gave you psychotherapy to help you, but you stopped going to that too. So if you're telling me now you want to start again, why don't we set you up to see a therapist over there and a dietitian? That would be great. And... There's no way this guy just, like, blew off the therapy to go to Twinkie Therapy. Also, he has Mr. DS tattooed on his wrist. Which is kind of funny because it makes me want to think that it like stands for Mr. Double Servings or something. Let's see if we can get you to get back on track. Okay. When you are 470 pounds, you should be able to lose 30 to 40 pounds a month. So your monthly goal needs to be back to being higher. Okay? Okay. So we will set that up for you to go where your emotional eating habit. So you think you can do that and that will help you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two months to lose 60 pounds. If you do... That's pretty generous by Dr. Now standards. Also, you've already got rid of half of your hair, so that's wind resistance. We have the run forest haircut at this point. So we should be fast like the wind, so you should just burn those calories like nobody's business, Lee. Yeah, then I'll keep working with you. But if not, then there's no point in us talking and wasting time playing any games with you. You got it? Yeah, I'll do my best, but I'm trying and you're treating me like I'm not. So that's frustrating. Trying is gaining 80 pounds in five months? Maybe trying to instead of play pack a punch, we're playing pack a pie in our pie hole. He's playing some game, but I ain't figured out which one yet, and it involves a lot of calories. Lee. Yeah. Pay attention. Pay attention. Listen to me. The reality is, I'm not treating you like you're not trying. You're not trying. That's the issue. And you are the one that's responsible for your health. You're the one responsible for changing your eating habit. You're responsible to follow up with your doctor and see a therapist and get the help that you need. But what I love when I get to see Angry Doctor now, because he doesn't come out very often. But when he does, it's always great to see him scold somebody who's trying, quote unquote. He gained 80 pounds. Yeah, stress eating, whatever, buddy. At the same time, 80 damn pounds, you were that stressed out? How many beef stroganoffs did you eat that stressed out? Right now, you're just blaming everything and everyone instead of taking responsibility for your choices. You need to be on driving force for your health, okay? Okay. So don't mix any issue like that. So let's stick with the fact that you're not losing weight, you had weight loss surgery, and you need to be proactive for your health, and you're not gonna get better unless you do that. Yeah. That make any sense to you? Yeah. If you... This guy hates accountability more than anything on earth. Everything is somebody else's, like, fault. Everything happened to him. Nothing is happening good for him because he's just such a sad sack of... Ugh. He sucks, man. He really does. I don't know any other way to say it. He's a terrible human being so far, and despite all the things that are happening, yes, I'm sorry for his dad. Accountability, he never takes any. I expect the world to do every work for you. This never is going to happen. You are the one that you have to do work for yourself. I don't expect anybody to do anything for me. Well, but you're not doing anything. I don't even want to freaking be doing this. I'm going home. Ugh. Oh no, you're gonna have to go for another round of anger therapy. Throwing phones is not on my bingo card. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of him, man. Good thing, like, Renee's already about here, because 
He might have thrown something at her, going back to Shin's, Shin Assault or something like that. I don't want to text him. I get sick of him. He's the rudest I've ever seen. I've never seen a doctor so rude in my life. It's really rude to be telling me what I need to hear or be telling me all the things that I've done wrong. I don't do anything wrong. Da -da -da. Dude, Lee, you <laughs> are your own worst enemy. You are never going to get out of your own way, not with this attitude. I don't know if you can turn it around at this point, but you're definitely going to have to if you want some more blessings to come back in your life because you're blocking all of them with your attitude for sure. Okay, so two months later... I made it back to Houston, and the trip here wasn't too bad. But right now, I'm headed to see Dr. Now, and I'm feeling nervous, because I want- Because you know that you didn't do a damn thing in those two months. Let's, let's call a spade a spade, Lee. How many Burger Kings did you hit on the way down there? How many Wendy's? How much time did you spend at the Bell and live Moss? So, just call it. What did you do? I want my weight to be where it needs, so I can get approved for my skin removal. That's the main reason I'm back here in Houston to see Dr. Now. And nope, we've definitely gained a cup size, so I don't think you've lost weight. That's why I've been working hard to lose weight again. So I'm really hoping I did, and I made it to my goal. Lee? At my last weigh-in back in Missouri, I was at 475. And Dr. I'm not sure why she always smiles for him. She must just know that he's a train wreck and she wants to see what's going to happen. Dr. Now said I needed to lose at least 60 pounds by today. So if I did that, I'd be back down under 415 today. And I hope that's where I made it. Wow. Wow. All you've got is a wow? Damn. This guy's had a whole lot of ding-dongs or something, because he's still gaining. I don't see how that's possible. I do. I've been trying to diet. I, I ain't perfect, but I've been eating salads. I've been skipping meals. I've been trying to lose weight. The only way I will buy the salad excuse is if you were putting a whole damn bottle of ranch on that thing. There's no way that that's the like 14 pounds from salad come on man that's living moss if i've ever seen it i just don't understand it i do but it's not gonna matter to doctor now i'm sure all he's gonna tell me is that i'm lying and i'm not serious about doing this while completely ignoring how hard i've actually been working so i'm regretting i agreed to do this and came all the way down here just to get chewed out for no reason that is a hell of a road trip just to run up the scale. And he thought he was... You can buy scales at home, though, that would tell you. Because you can get a scale easily that goes up to, like, five, six online off, like, Amazon or something. Andy. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How about you? All right. That's good. Well, I'm glad you made it down here. But in the last two months, instead of uh, losing 60 pounds, you gained 14 pounds. I, I don't know. I don't have a straight answer for you. I mean, well, the way you go. Screw it. Let's blame fluid like everyone else. It's got to be fluid, right? That's a whole lot of Mountain Dew in them thighs. That's got to be it, right? Going right down pretty soon. You're going to be back to six, seven hundred pounds. And once you get to that point, mobility is going to go away. You're going to be bedridden and going to be the same old stuff. And then after that, you won't survive much longer, so you don't have a lot of time to sit on the fence and continue to do this if you want to live. So if you don't want to make a decision to change, then at this point, what option we got for you? I don't think he's sitting on any fences, because that fence wouldn't hold up. But also, I don't know, man. This guy, he's got this whole ignorance is bliss attitude about him that just drives me nuts. Like, he acts like he can do good for a little bit of time, and then he just starts backpedaling real quick. Like, he's backpedaling quicker than Armstrong can pedal, you know? I, I don't know. Okay, well, that's a problem, because you clearly don't see a need to take this seriously. And I'm concerned with how much you have gained. You could have already stretched your stomach back out, 
which will be a very bad scenario if you have. So first thing will be putting the aspirin on looking inside your stomach, see what you did with your bypass. Okay. Yeah, I actually don't see any way he could have gained weight unless he stretched his stomach back out at this point. Because the second you feel full, you should stop eating if you've had this surgery, or else you will just stretch it back out. I still can't eat all that much over two years out of surgery. You see what's happening with that. Okay. You know, the second thing is uh, to see a therapist and see why you're overeating. Okay. Before you left, you stop going to psychotherapy. So all of that compulsive behavior that is part of your pathology to eat like you are hasn't been addressed because you haven't been working on it like you should. And that's why... You I think he just ran away from therapy because Lola kind of called him out on his BS and she knew what happened with him and Renee. And uh, it's probably not comfortable to sit in there and hear all the bad stuff you've done and kind of relive it. But you're going to have to face up to it at some point, man, because it's your fault. You've done all this. You're in this situation now, and your health is going to go down really rapidly. So I'm going to set up doing an endoscopy on you tomorrow. And also I'm going to set up an appointment with Lola for you to go back to start seeing her again to continue working on your issues. Okay. So I'm going to set you up to have an endoscopy done okay. and see what's going on with your bypass. All right. All right. If it's stretched out, can they can you fix it or how do you? Well, we may be able to. Yeah, we just put a little rubber band around it and you're good to go. They don't just cut the thing out again, I'm sure. I didn't. I thought they maybe they could give the stomach back or something like that. You do something with that, but we need to find out if there okay. is any problem with that. All right. But if you stretch it far enough, the only solution for that will be to do a thought surgery on you again. So right now, I'm not going to even consider that for you because you have given me no evidence. You won't just do the same stuff all over again. But we'll see. Do you think he really deserves weight loss surgery again, though? I don't think he deserves a damn thing at this point. He hadn't put in any effort. He kind of sabotaged Renee's. He, he just, the guy is terrible. He's a terrible human being at this point you have to go to a hospital tomorrow and see what's going on with you okay and uh, then we go from there so for the next 24 hours you need to stay on liquid diet okay okay all right and after that you need to start going back to see Lola again well that's going to be a key issue for you all right okay all right see you tomorrow mm -hmm. Looks like we're going to get an endoscopy done. They're not the, like, most comfortable things, but they're not really all that bad. They kind of just leave, like, a little discomfort in your throat afterwards. So, like, yeah, he should never have got to this point, though. This is kind of effed up that he even ended up here. Thankfully for me, the stretching in his stomach is minimal. But he yeah, started the process of putting his stomach back to the size it was. Hopefully, we are intervening in time to stop him from continuing to do that. Wait, how do they get it back to the normal size, though? It won't just shrink back or anything like that. Once it's stretched out, I'm pretty sure you're just kind of screwed. You just blew the whole surgery process. So I don't understand how they would work in reverse here. Well, what happens from here is all in these hands. And he can either do what he needs and live, but if not, then he won't be around much longer. So, Lee, I'm aware that you and Renee aren't in the same type of relationship that you were once in. So I want you to go into the archives of your mind and I want you to think about a time in your relationship with Renee when... He probably just got teleported back to Golden Corral or something. But him and Renee being separated is not the worst thing that's ever happened on the show. Maybe they'll work it out, maybe they won't. But it's probably good for her that she got up out of there since he was getting physical at some point. The anger was its most vigorous where it was raw. And I want you to tell me what happened in that situation. Well, we moved here to Houston and she didn't want to live here. I did. We fought about it constantly. Cussing each other, calling each other names. Mm -hmm. And a few times it, it got violent, hitting each other. I don't think either one of you probably really wanted to be there at first. It's a big adjustment to go from, like, 
living out in Missouri or whatever to living in Houston, and it was just you, her, and your buddy David or something who might have been backdoor and your girl behind your back, who knows? The last time you were here, Lee, I must honestly say I was a little bit appalled to hear that a frying pan had been used. Yeah. Damn, when we get fat, we just start clocking people with cooking instruments? I've never heard, I actually, I can't say I've never heard of that one. My grandma clocked my granddad in the head with a frying skillet, and she still laughs about it to this day, but he's passed, and, uh, they argued about stuff back and forth to this day. If I say something to her about him, she'll say F that mother. Like, she'll go off. Yeah. I, I'm ashamed of it. Actually, I wasn't much intending to hit her. I was taking it and beating the kitchen up, breaking stuff, and she stood and got in the way, and she got hit in the head with it. Busted her head open. Hold on. How do we accidentally headshot somebody with a frying pan? Where are you swinging to break stuff? Because to clock her in the head... No, that had to be intentional, right? There's no way that it wasn't. The person that's hit in the head probably can't tell whether you intended to or not. And she I feel really bad about it now, and I look about it and think about all the destruction I caused. And, and Lee, oftentimes when people have severe anger issues such as you do, yeah, it can be difficult to manage. And like you said, you were just busting up the apartment. That comes about because there is this surge of extra energy. Well, where the hell was he hiding this energy the whole time then? I've... <laughs> I don't think that that's a good excuse. Maybe he's raging because he can't have any more ravioli or something, but I don't think it's necessarily just a surge of energy because he doesn't know what to do with all this energy that he's got all of a sudden. That happens when you become very angry. And so instead of striking people or breaking objects, I want you to engage in what's called an adult tantrum. I want you to stretch out on the floor and allow yourself to kick and scream and cry. Are you going to come over and get him back up off the floor? Because that's a very precarious situation for us big people. Once we're on the floor, it's not exactly the easiest thing to get back up off of it. It may okay. sound bizarre, but the adult tantrum is designed to help you regain control of your body. And you can allow yourself to hit your fist on the floor, stomp your feet, and to scream. And then once it passes, you get up and you go for a walk. You walk off the excess energy and you begin to slowly calm yourself down. Couldn't we start with the walk? Do we have to go like full-blown rugrats on the floor for a second or anything? Or could we just walk it off anyway? I don't think Lee needs any, he has any business on the floor slamming anything because, uh, yeah, just walk out of there, buddy. What the hell? Okay. But do not act out towards another individual because sometimes if you get angry enough, it just feels like that energy is combustible in your body. So during those times, engage in your adult tantrum, then follow it up, go for a walk around the block, to exert that excess physical energy, but to also add to your journey. If anything's combustible in size Lee, it's, it's leftovers from the Taco Bell. I don't think it's any kind of rage growing inside him or anything. I'm going to blame Taco Bell again on this one, so yeah, we'll just leave it at that. To complete some goals that are going to help you reach and accomplish everything you set out to on this weight loss journey. Okay. Okay. Good seeing you. See you next time. All right. What are they thinking getting couches that low for the My 600 Pound Life show? Are they thinking that our knees are just made of steel like a hinge? You're going to get somebody down that low on that couch and they're never going to be able to get up off it. They're just going to be stuck in your office and that's their new hole. That's where they live. Travel safely. I will. Thank you. Tantrum. <laughs> a whole lot of what Lola said made sense. I'm not proud of my actions and how I behave when I lose my temper. 
And I know everything that's important to me that I've lost in life is because of my anger and it's destroyed my relationship with Renee. And Dr. Now says that's what's at the core of my health issues and overeating. Your ruined relationships at the core of it, or is it just everything? You use everything as an excuse to eat more, to do this, to do that, because you're Mr. Never Accountable for anything. You just kind of do your own thing 24 7. Damn, so he only lost 109 pounds after surgery. Well, I guess he gained some back, so he's just trying to get back on track. Today, I'm at a park here in Houston. I've been trying to do all the walking I need outside so I can enjoy the scenery and the fresh air. And it feels good because I can go twice as long as I could when I started a month ago. Well, that's what she said. But also, at the tantrum stroll... It's good to see him out here working. Also, that guy's shorts in the background are so damn short I can see a nut hanging out. I've been doing the diet, too. But the biggest thing I've Where's been trying to work on is my anger That's a issues. So I've Confirmed, not a nut. Well, actually, could be a nut. Who knows? seen Lola a couple more times. And I've been doing the task she gives me to let go of some things and take more control over my emotions. I gotta sit down. Right here. Oh boy. That was a quiet walk. Let's go, Lee. Actually trying to do something instead of just sit around and say, Woe is me. Ooh. Ooh, no. Feel the burn. Part of that process is to try to see Taco and Bell. understand how my actions and my choices affect others instead of only seeing what it does to me. And one big thing I realized is that when Renee left me, I only saw how that affected me and what I lost. I think everything you've seen thus far has been kind of like, why is this happening to me? Why is this? It's never been, why is this happening to us? There's never been a us in any of this. Your dad even getting sick, you kind of looked at that as a, like a you thing, it seemed like to me. Like you had to be there to care for him, even though everyone else still lived in the same state. It's just kind of this weird sense of, like, you're the only person that can do anything for anybody, and you have to do this, and everything's affecting you. I, I don't know why you think that way, but that's probably a good thing for Lola to work on, because she makes the big bucks, not Sean. I didn't even realize at the time that her desire to get away from me meant that she was losing the chance to do Dr. Now's program. So I called her and left her a voicemail apologizing for that. And she actually called me back, and we had a conversation. Ooh, she called you back. Well, uh, what did you hear in the background on that phone? Because I'm convinced at this point that I haven't seen David or Renee. So she's somewhere getting in a tic-tac-toe hole with David. Like, that's probably what's going on here. So that was really encouraging. So my plan is to stay down here in Houston to keep working hard to do better and become the man I want to be by getting healthy physically and emotionally. I wasn't even expecting to be down here for this long, so I had to have a friend of mine go to the airport and get my truck. Because I left it. That's not the worst thing I've heard him say, but there's a little thing that I keep telling myself over and over in my head with my own journey, and I'm just like, you don't have to be happy with everything. You just have to be happy with the man you save at the end of the day. So you gotta be a good person moving forward and all this and that. You can't Focus on the past. You can't get lost in all your mistakes because the Lord knows I've made enough of them. But you just have to kind of be happy with the man you saved in the long run. Been there when I thought I'd be back in a few days. But my sister said she could take care of my dad so I can do this. If his health declines anymore, then I'm going back up. So as long as he's stable and doing okay, I'm going to keep working hard to try and lose more weight. You've got to worry about your own health, man, because I know you're worried about your dad, but you're not exactly in tip-top shape here. <sighs> okay, back on track. I've been down in Houston on my own now for a little over four months. And Dr. Now says I'm making good progress. 
That doesn't look like the most unhealthy meal I've ever seen on the show. But also, he's at a bar. So that's a little interesting that he would choose to go there for food, exactly. That's like people who say they go to the strip club for wings. What wings are you going for? Because I've lost over 100 pounds since I came back down here. I had another appointment with him a few days ago, and I weighed in at 389. So I'm actually smaller now than when I went back up to Missouri. And I'm excited about that. I've actually been coming here to this place for a bit now. I'm getting to know a lot of the regulars who come here a lot. And it's felt good just having some people who know me down here in Houston. Yeah, I guess socializing would be the main reason he's going to the bar at this point and stuff like that. But he is lower than when he left initially. It might be a windy road, but sometimes you just gotta love the journey. So you could still be very successful in all of this, Lee. So here's to hoping that you kept going. So I like coming here and seeing everyone and meeting new people. I and I feel I'm starting to get settled in here. And things are going well for me right now. I'm Asia. Go by Z. So. Oh, that's pretty. Damn, they got Cisco to make an appearance on My 600 Pound Life. That's crazy. I didn't think I'd get to see the thong song. She's got a Puma tattoo. Oh, man, she just got infinitely more cooler. Looks like in pool? Yeah. Oh. I'm still not approved for skin removal, but Dr. Now thinks if I lose 40 more pounds, I can be ready. But the thing I'm most proud of is he believes in me again. Damn, Leo, with all this weight loss and all you talking about how you were in better shape, you could do this or not, that now. I thought you'd be getting better a little, or a little better at working the stick at least. So I plan to keep doing what I need as long as my dad still doesn't get any worse. He hasn't beaten his cancer yet, but he's responding to treatment. And they think he could be in remission soon. So things are starting to turn around in a lot of ways. I haven't talked to Renee since my last call with her a couple of months ago. Damn, Renee decided you're a lost cause. No wonder you're at the bar. This guy's about to go on his Tinder demon arc all of a sudden. But when I get approved for my skin removal there soon, I'm planning on calling her and inviting her down for the surgery. And I'm really hoping she agrees to that. But we'll see. In the meantime, I'm just trying to do what I need. But I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. And my hope is... Well, that's good news. At least found his extra gear all of a sudden, so he's going to keep pushing forward. Still, that at some point, Renee will consider taking me back. That hope is what's motivating me right now. I don't know. And I just have to have faith that if I keep at it, I'll eventually get to where I need and I'll have the life I want. I think Renee is probably enjoying her life without the bruised shins and with David at this point because I haven't seen him in quite a while, so I like to run with narratives in my own head and I like to pretend that I know what's going on. But, alright, so Lee kind of had a messed up path. He went up and down, this and that. Finally went into therapy, started making some positive choices in his life and stopped making more excuses for why he kept gaining weight. Because there's going to be a million different reasons why you could do bad in life and why you couldn't do this or couldn't do that. But there's never a reason good enough for you to just kind of stop yourself or block yourself from working in the right direction. But let me know what you guys think about Lee because he's not my, exactly my favorite. But he's not exactly my least favorite either. I just don't like the way he treated Renee. So leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Peace.